Hello everybody! This is Jessica with Stamp a Blessing. Today we have such a special morning getting together to decide who is the winner of the giveaway for the past Paper Pumpkin Kit Challenge that we started in July 15. But don't worry, I have an idea for you. It is a beautiful card. We're gonna cut it, we're gonna fold it, and I think you're gonna like it. Super simple and you can create it also with your past Paper Pumpkin Kits as with the current one, the On My Mind, the new one is on its way already. I also have some announcements for what's coming on September. And at the end of our meeting today, I also have a word for you about prayer. Have you been praying? Oh, we need to pray. So wait till the end because I have an encouraging word for you and I think you're gonna love it, okay? I'm gonna turn my camera around, say my hellos, and let's start stamping because that's the joy of Mondays. We start Mondays stamping blessings. Okay, I'm super excited about the giveaway, but I always like to give you one little idea to do during the week and always with my paper pumpkin, right? So I brought the On My Mind instruction sheet. So you see the three cards that we've been working with this month. We are go I'm going to actually use this card basis for this cut, but I want to show you several samples afterwards. And this was an idea that I shared with my paper pumpkin peeps the ladies that actually subscribe under me on um, Paper Pumpkin. I shared this a few months back with the hugs from Shelly Kit and I wanted to try it with this one. So I'm going to show you how to do this cut, okay? So this is my car base. And the way we will start this, you will need a card base, any card base works, okay? Any card base that you have. This I think is a four and a quarter by five and a half, meaning that this is an eight and a half by five and a half and then you fold it right there you will also need a ruler you will need a pencil you will also need a pair of scissors okay and besides that i think that's pretty much it i think you will need a little bit of twine that's sort of part of the whole look of the card and then you will need some stamps and um, maybe some embellishments that you wish to use for any of your cards depending on the kit that you choose to use so today what you will do is that you will bring your pencil and you will make a little mark right here at one inch. So I'm just marking my one inch right here. Okay. Da -da -da. And then I'm going to mark inside at one and a half inches. Let me move this a bit. There you go. One and a half inches. So it's right here on that line, which is kind of cool because it's right on the line of my car base. Okay. Then you're going to bring your scissors. Super, super simple cut. Okay. But you're going to go up to about there to about that inch up. So I'm most likely going to be, I'm actually going to make myself a little line there. I could certainly use my ruler, but I know you're all waiting to know who is winning today's giveaways and that is way too fun. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't want to keep you too long, but I do want to give you a cool idea that I loved making with this kit. And I actually, um, I think you can do with any kit that you still have some car bases. So there I have a good cut right there, right? What I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring this up here like this. And I'm going to be making that fold right there. Cool, huh? And then I'm going to bring this little corner right here. I want to keep my corner intact, okay? There, and I'm going to bring it up. And this is just something that happened. I don't know what I was looking at. I saw a scrapbook page or something like that where they took the designer's just paper and they folded it up and you could see the other side of the paper. Well, duh, the inside of our cards is white for the moment being because we are going to change that in a second. So here I am. Okay, so that is the main cut that you're making. You measure one inch up. You measure um, one and a half inch in. Okay, right there. You make your little cut with your scissors and then you fold up. And this is going to be so, so nice. Okay. So let's embellish this because this is all you have to do with this card. It's not difficult at all, but I think you're going to love the results, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring what the kid actually brought. And again, I encourage you to use whatever you have. In this case, I decided to use those beautiful boats because I haven't. I've been so in love with the 
woven threads, sweet, and the coordinating cards with it that I sort of ignore my little boats. So now I'm using them all, okay? And haha, -ha, I know I'm gonna be putting this somewhere like this. I'm gonna take one of these. Isn't it, it, this is such a beautiful one? It coordinates with a come away um, sweet. I want to say come away, sail with me or something like that. <laughs> I don't know if it's sail away. I think it's come away. Someone correct me, please. Okay, so I know I want to embellish it this way. There's many ways you can do it. So something is going to go there. And first of all, I'm going to bring my mat because I want to stamp on this card real fast. Okay, so the idea is that your sentiment will go right here in the opening. So I'm going to bring the one that says, hello, friend. I'll put it right there. And since this, this card actually coordinates with Knight of Navy, I will bring the Knight of Navy. Okay. Da-da-da. Good morning, Nancy. Yes, Nancy's here. And I'm going to stamp Hello, Friend. And I'll stamp this Hello, Friend right here. dee dee, -dee. This is such a simple card, honestly. It's a simple, simple card. I cannot wait for you to make them and show me what you created. Now what I'll do is that I'll bring the coordinating, coordinating stamps, where is my seashell? Right here. And I will be using some of the, oh, I use balmy blue. I thought I was gonna use, um, you know what, I'll use balmy blue, I have it right here. You can use Seaside Spray. Let's use Seaside Spray since this is the color that the kit actually coordinates with. I don't want to go too far away from it, okay? So we're going to bring this here, and I'm going to use my medallion, and I'm going to be decorating this part right here. I think this is kind of like my favorite part of this card. <laughs> As usual, stamping, right? That's my favorite card, my favorite part of this card. So this is going to go like this, and then I'm going to bring a little bit more of this medallion, and I'm going to stamp right here, okay? Ah, you're so good, Rita. Thank you so much for sharing. And then I'm going to take this one and I'm going to stamp right here. Da -da -da. Okay, there I got it. Those are my two seaside spray. And I want to bring the mint macaroon that actually coordinates with this, this card too, or this kit. And I'll bring my seashell. And now my seashell... I'm going to stamp, and I want the seashell to be seen here. So I'm going to turn it around, and I'm going to do that. And I think I went a little bit overboard, but hey, it worked. Praise the Lord. Okay, and I'll go right here. And you know what? This is going to look cute. I'm going to put another one on the inside. Yep, it looked cute. Okay, so I have those two, and look what happens when you open the card right there. Isn't that cute? Absolutely. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, I'm going to use some of my dimensionals, and the dimensionals are going to go right here. So I'm going to put one right there. I'll put one right here. I'm not gluing it yet because I have another idea. And now is when Jessica goes fetch for her twine that has no idea where she put it. Oh, uh-huh. The Lord is good. I found it. <laughs> I have just a little bit more of this twine. I've been using it like crazy. So I'm going to, hey, I'm going to use exactly what I have left. Okay. That's what I'm going to use today. Yes. And for those who are coming in, I am just giving a quick idea. Is a little cute cut going up on your card bases to decorate those card bases that you still have leftovers from past paper pumpkin kits or any card bases, to be honest. I hope that this inspires you to create and embellish. And you know how I am. I love seeing what you create. So if you make something with this little card, I want to see it. Makes me happy. us ideas right and if he gives us ideas is so that we share them okay so I'm gonna put this right there ha ha and then I'm gonna bring some of these cuties that came with a kid and I'm going to embellish a little bit I'll put maybe this one here 
and da 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 cha 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 ching. Um, let me use this one. Let me put it right here on this. Look how cute this is. Mm, don't you love that? I love it. I'm so excited. <laughs> I love sharing ideas with you. You know that. It is my joy to share ideas with you. And much when the Lord gives them to me. And I'm, you know, I just love sharing them. So this is just a totally different um, little cut right there. Okay. I made another one. I was kind of following through. This is with a balmy blue. Okay, now let me show you one with the hugs from Shelly. Okay, I made this one with one of the note cards from the hugs from Shelly. Thank you, Eva. I'm so glad you like it. And this one, I went a little bit higher, as you see. I just made the cut higher. So if you want to be able to stamp more in this area or you want to put a bigger um, sentiment, you can definitely cut higher. This one, I cut, oh my dear, I went like two inches up. On this one, I only went one inch up. So if you want more space, you can certainly do it. On this one, I did not stamp on this area, but I stamped some feathers and I put them in there. And then I added a totally different ribbon. And when you open it, look how cute it looks on the inside. Okay, super sweet. And now I have one more, actually two more. And it's this one that I created with the... Um, with a kid and as you can see i just want to did not finish because i have not put the sentiment down here i think i'm gonna put thank you or something like that but this one i did finish look how cute and i use one of the birds from the designer's Shirts paper the bird ballad that coordinates with this kit the hugs from shelly and as you see i stamped the flowers and i color them okay oh you haven't used this one Ooh, then you have to try it, Kayla. <laughs> it's so good. Then I added another one here, and I sort of embellished on the inside. Look how cute that looks. Don't you think that's so cute? I absolutely love this idea. These are note cards. These are full cards, and it works the same way. I used a one inch going up, and here I think I measured... What did I measure? Okay, one inch going up, one and a half going to the side. If you want to make it a little bigger, then you have to go two inches to the side, okay, and two inches up, something like that is what I did on this one. So I hope you like this idea. Now we have a full agenda, so let me see what we are doing next. Uh, first of all, I'm going to thank everybody that participated on the challenge. So I'm going to do the challenge right now because I know you're all waiting for that, and some of you may need to go, so I'll do the winner of that. And then I have two more announcements and a word to share with you, and I'm super excited for that. If you like this card, give me some thumbs up and give me some love because I really like this idea and I cannot wait to see what you create with it. So good to see you all. So what I did is that I took a beautiful uh, box that my friend Cindy gave me for my birthday. It says, Jessica, most likely it's the other way around for you. My thoughts are happiest when you are in them. She is an artist and I love this. And I thought, you know, what better than just put all of my names in there and Eva I believe you added one more card so I'm going to just move things around okay because that's what I did I put everybody's entries in here I have more than 20 entries and I put everybody's name as many times as you participated I put your name in so if you made three cards I put your name three times if you participated one I put a one etc okay so father God bless whoever you want to bless we are excited to share in this place Ooh, I'm not looking I'm gonna pick this one. Who's this one? Ha <laughs> Kayla Cole. You are the winner today. Ah, I'm so excited, Kayla. Kayla, I think it's the first time that you share in Stamp a Blessing one of your creations. So thank you so much. Look how good the Lord is. I will be mailing you. I'll need your address. So if you can PM me at some point, I will be mailing you the My Creative Bible. I put some pictures already in the in my Facebook post. Um when was it? Oh, this last week. I put some pictures of that. And I will also have some different friends that share. Oh, my dear. I have Christy and Diana and Kathy and Patricia, Rebecca, Marja. A lot of them decided to also give out of their hearts gifts for the winner. So I think I'm going to need to share that address with all of them. And they will be sending you some goodies out of their hearts. We are here not getting paid for any of this. It is just what Stampy Blessing does. And I am so happy. <laughs> I see that you are happy too. And that makes me so excited. Okay, you have all been creating with your past paper pumpkin kits. And I want to keep encouraging you to do that. So usually the last... Um 
the last video that I that I do per kit, which would be this one right now, kind of like the first or second week of the month, I will always keep bringing past paper pumpkin kit ideas for you. We won't do a challenge right now, but I want you to stay tuned because on September 23rd, we are going to do something very, very special. And I'm so, so happy. It is going to be called 23 Caring Cards, okay? we I'm going to explain more about it later, but September 23rd, we are going to start sending cards for those that we care about, okay? And this is going to be absolutely awesome. It's going to be a fun challenge for all the community in Stamp of Blessing to be part of. I know you already have cards. If you don't, start making some cards with those past paper pumpkin kits because we are getting ready to bless some more people during September. So the first day of fall, September 23rd, I'm going to be here on a live talking about that. So you go nowhere. Stay tuned with me for that super excited. Also this Wednesday, I'm going to have a video chat. I'm going to try something absolutely new on YouTube. I want to bring a technique and a ton of different samples that I made with some of the new um, catalog products from Stamping Up. I think you're going to love it. I'm going to be sharing about pigment sprinkles and you are going to love it, but I want you to see it with me. So I'm going to do a video premiere, which I'm going to be uh, announcing time later on. It will be this Wednesday. If you're not on YouTube, go to Stamp a Blessing, my channel. Subscribe I click the alarm uh, bell so that you know when the premiere is going to be happening. And at the same time that you watch it, I'm going to be watching it and we are able to chat. I want to try this on YouTube. It's actually really cool. So I'll be doing that on Wednesday. And I think that's all for today, except that I always like to stamp a blessing on you before you go on with your day. And to do that, I want to bring Psalm 10. You know what? I was talking with my kids and we were doing a devotional. And I, my heart has been to teach them how to pray, right? And many of us sometimes think that, okay, we're going to pray. And many times we don't say anything. You know what? The Lord, the Lord knows everything that is in our hearts. But the Bible is clear in that it calls us to pray and declare and prophesy. And I went to Psalm 10 and I was just showing the girls how to pray. Oh, my my. Oh my children, my boy as well. And I said, you know, if you don't know how to pray, go to the word and declare what the word says. One of my daughters said, well, how can I pray Psalm 10? I went to Psalm 10 and most of the Psalm is the Psalm is really just venting with the Lord and how the enemy is just oppressing and how the enemies are doing so many bad things, how many curses and threats and evil is going on in the world. He vented for like 10 different verses and I'm like, yikes, do I pray that? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I got to verse 12 and I was like, yes, that is the verse that I want to, that I want to pray. And I started saying, my dear, this is the way I'm going to pray with this psalm. I'm going to say, arise, Lord, lift up your hand, my God, and do not forget the helpless. Why does the wicked man revile God? Why does he say to himself, he won't call me to account? But you, oh God, you do see trouble and grief. You consider it to take it in hand. The victim commits himself to you and you are the helper of the fatherless. Hey, I know that I am not a victim, but many times we go through situations where we are the victims and we suffer injustice and we suffer things that are not right. And in our society right now, my dear ones, we need to pray. We need to pray for our nation. We need to pray for the mental health of our society. We need to pray for the things that are going on in our world. When you pray, things happen. So go to the word and start praying the word of God. And that's what I was so excited. Then I said to my daughter, okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's go to Psalm 25. If you go to Psalm 25, it's absolutely easy for you to pray. Because the psalmist David, in this case, is actually making a prayer. He says, to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. In you I trust, O my God. Do not let me be put to shame, nor let my enemies triumph over me. Then verse 4 says, show me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your path. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are God, my Savior, my hope. My happy anticipation of good things from God is in you all day long. And as I'm teaching this, my daughter says to me, Mom, but the one that I really want to pray is Psalm 27. And I'm like, really? What's in Psalm 27? Man, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Though an army beseech me and my heart will not fear. The war break out against me and you, my dears. Even then will I be confident. So may your confidence comes from the Lord. 
don't forget to pray because cards are powerful, but prayers are even more powerful than cards. So <laughs> I just love the word of God. I love how inspiring it is. And today I read you three different Psalms that you can use to pray, to pray to the God of heavens. And you know what's the good thing? God listens to each of your prayers and He cares for the helpless. He cares for those who are being victimized. Remember that. He will hear you and He will answer. So please pray this week even more for your nation. Pray that God blesses your family and your generations and pray the word. We learn with the word. So Kayla, you're going to be receiving that Bible and I hope you're blessed and inspired to keep praying and seeking the faith of God. Mwah. I love you all. Thank you so much for being part of this community. I will be sharing more with you next Monday, but certainly stay tuned because there's a lot of good things coming. I love you. Mwah. Mwah. I'll be praying for you. Ciao, ciao.